two, two, nine. Hashtag age gaps at fam problems. Hashtag verse TV two, two, nine C. So I'm 22 years old. I've never been in a relationship before. And I went to this music festival in Barcelona a few weeks ago. I met this 40 year old OnlyFans creator. I'm also an OnlyFans creator. And the first night we went to a party together, we really hit it off. That same night, he asked me to be his boyfriend. I was very vulnerable at the time. This felt like a fairy tale romance. I said yes. The next day, he told me that he was in love with me. By the third day, he asked me to go live with him in Brazil. And so I told him, I'm here in Europe for about two months, so maybe we should try staying together here in Europe before I go somewhere like Brazil. And I really thought that this man was the one. So by the end of the first week, things started to turn really sour. Exploring the city by myself, and I get a bunch of text messages where he's accusing me of using him for money. And he starts to list all these things that I owe him, like 160 for our first date, lube that I used once for a collab that he filmed. He's charging me for using a scoop of his protein powder. He's charging me for ruining this Louis Vuitton bag because there's a scratch right there. I didn't even want to wear that bag in the first place. He told me to wear that bag because my bag looked cheap and he didn't want to be seen walking around with me and that bag. Mm. Well, I'm sure Kevin will be right back. I will say, I don't even have to really, but that is, Totally my problem with huge age gaps in dating. Because granted, that 40 year old man is probably an 83 baby or an 82 baby. So it's like we are the older men now. Okay, I get it. But I agree with what Dan Savage said about with significantly older people dating significantly younger people or with people, not significantly older people dating significantly younger, but with people dating people who are significantly younger and legal, it's like, he said, the campsite rule is what's in effect, you know? Here we go. He's back, y'all. Yay. All right. Marvelous. All right. Yeah. And yeah, Dan Savage says that it's just like the campsite rule. Leave it better than you found it. That is your responsibility yeah. as the older person in the relationship. And I remember discussing with my uh, gym training guy about, he, he's former military, right? And um, he talked about uh, how parents learn quickly not to bring their 18 year old daughter around the ba barracks mm -hmm. because he, he's like, yeah, you know, with us, younger, but slightly higher than 18, but still like in that same range, men, like we're gonna do what we do. And he, he talked about this one woman who 18 year old, who she was like, she became a, he didn't use the term barracks winch, but it was barracks something. And that she was going from barracks to barracks sleeping with a lot of the guys. And I, I, I don't even know her, but I, but I defended her, right? On some, I'm curious, it's gonna be even better. 
I defended her to the extent, yes, this is better. I defended her to the extent that I was like, when you're young, that age, you don't know. You know, just like I always say, I was looking for love in all the wrong bedrooms. She was looking for love in all the wrong barracks, you know? (laughs) And it's like, and I, I think he even said this to me too. He was like, yeah, but she was sleeping with everybody, you know? And I'm like, yeah, but she doesn't understand that. She doesn't, she doesn't see it that way. The way she saw it was, she's like, I'll sleep with him and I'll try and, and see what can happen, if we can maybe grow to something bigger. And then next thing you know, he, he says, no. And she was, she's like, okay, I'm going to move on to this next one and see if that's um, somebody that I can connect with. And he's like, "Mm, no, two, after they do what they do. And then she moves on to the third and so forth and so on. And next thing you know, she develops a reputation for being a easy person, easy sexual person. And I think there was even a time that I had such a reputation online a little bit. I, I I backed up very very quickly though, but I was looking for love in all the wrong bedrooms. But if somebody turns you down, you know you're like, well, I can just keep trying. I I've got to try to find him. I know he's somewhere, you know. But you get that reputation anyway. I didn't even almost finish this. In basic complexity, I'll uh, go back to it in my, in my one-ish minute. Anyway, yours? Um, that, that entire situation to me was just put up with nothing but red flags. And there are three strikes in my book. All right, so he asked you to be his, be his boyfriend the first night you met. Um, the issue with it. Um, two, he tells you that that he is in love with you um, on the second day. It's an issue in itself. <laughs> and three, he asked you to move in with him in Brazil, which is a whole different country. Um, On the third day, I see nothing but issues. That's what I have. Going back to the uh, 